Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining today's eClaims webinar. We ask you to please keep your phone lines muted as we will be using the chat feature to receive your questions today. Please enter your questions throughout the presentation in the chat box located on the right side of your screen. Use the drop down to send your questions to the panelists. You can also hover to the WebEx tab at the top of your screen and click on chat. We will answer as many of your questions as we can, but if you have any questions that we don't get to today or think of something after the session ends, we will be providing you with the resources at the end of the presentation. Today we will be covering 3.1 news and 3.1 change log updates. We will also take questions at the end of the webinar. First, we'll, we will review eClaims recent news since October, since the October webinar. The March 29th, 2021, the March webinar slide deck became available on the eClaims presentation pages. That eClaims webinar reviewed topics for 3.1 updates, recent news, WCIO nature of injury, filing suspensions, reminder, and claims EDI 3.1 updated documentation. We also posted the eClaims implementation guide for 3.1 as it was revised, and that is posted on the impl implementation guide page. As reviewed at the February eClaims Trading Partner Webinar, the 3.0 FROI UR event is effective July 6, 2021. It was published in the 3.0 change log back in January of this year. Item 402 is for medical only cases as previously reviewed. The FROI O is acceptable instead of the UR. This event does carry over to the 3.1 event table. The next few slides are regarding, are regarding updated 3.1 documents. The implementation date has been changed to January 24th of 2022. The 3.1 guide was updated on April 23rd of this year. I will now pass it over to Kim to go ahead and review the next few slides. Good afternoon, everyone. The board will be conducting EDI 3.1 testing from October 12, 2021 to January 14, 2021, as detailed in the New York State Implementation Guide, Section 3. It is recommended that trading partners familiarize themselves with the IABC 3.1 standard, and we also highly recommend that you attend at least one training held by the IABC. You can find information on those training sessions on the IABC's website. Test plan. For flat filers, he claims, or section three of the implementation guide includes the updated test plan for flat filers. The required test will include a single data file for Freud's only, two data files for Freud and Troy's, single data file for Shroy's only, and one or two data files for Shroy's and or Shroy's as needed. During the test period, flat, fires, flat filers will upload the test files as, as specified to the board's FTP server, and once the file is uploaded, you must notify eClaim support at eclaimsupport at wcb.ny.gov that that file has been uploaded.
Once eClaim support receives an email indicating that a flat file has been uploaded to the board, the board will process the test file and generate the acknowledgement on the FP, FTP server for the submitter to download. The acknowledgement in a test file will contain a T in the test production header record. And after the board returns the result of each test, the submitter should then submit their next test files within three business days. I'm now going to turn it over to Sue Sheath, who will review moving into production and test plan for web filers. Thanks, Kim. Good afternoon, everybody. Moving to production, the length of the testing period depends on the submitter's transaction acceptance rate and the data quality. Once the trading partner has met the data quality criteria, the board will notify the trading partner by email that they have passed the test and they are approved for production with the board on January 24th, 2022. Key claims EDI cutover date. Claims EDI 3.0 flat file submissions can be submitted until 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Thursday, January 20th, 2022. Web data entry will be available until 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Friday, January 21st, 2022. E-case will be available until 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on February, on Friday, January 21st, 2022. Further information will be shared as, avail as available if any other online systems are affected. Migration to claims EDI release 3.1. The test period is a transition time for trading partners during the test period. Claim administrators will be transitioning their release 3.1 test data files, while at the same time still submitting release 3.0 transactions. When the board migrates to release 3.1, the flip the switch strategy will be used to complete the process. As we develop the final migration plans, we will communicate any transition window when the board cuts over to release 3.1 submissions. Web data entry testing. Organizations that have already been approved to submit through the web data entry application and claims EDI release 3.0 will be provided the opportunity to access a separate claims EDI release 3.1 test environment. This will allow users to gain experience and note any changes to the web data entry application for claims EDI release 3.1. All existing organizations will have production ad access regardless of whether they use the release 3.1 test environment. New trading partners must participate in a formal training process. This process includes a test plan made up of entering data into the web data entry application. All submitters must complete all mandatory tests to be approved to submit production data files. Before we conclude today's presentation, I wanna make sure you're aware of the methods to stay informed on eClaims news and upcoming engagement opportunities, you can visit the eClaims website at wcb.ny.gov to stay up to date on eClaims news. You can also sign up to receive news straight to your inbox. This is how we will be com communicating future engagement opportunities throughout the course of the BIS project. Visit the eClaims site and select WCB notifications within the eClaims overview section. Questions, comments, and feedback on the eClaims EDI 3.1 upgrade can be emailed to eclaims31 at wcb.ny.gov. Questions regarding existing eclaims EDI 3.0 should continue to be sent to the eclaims at wcb.ny.gov mailbox. You can also follow the board on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. A recording of this webinar is going to be placed on our YouTube and eClaims website, as well as FAQ spawned from the questions being asked during this webinar series. So keep an eye out for these resources, as well as a follow-up email and survey. Thank you for joining us. We appreciate your time today.